Man, you can see the sun hitting off that thing. Man. Wow. This is crazy. Crazy, crazy, man. Yes, sir. What's good, grind schoolers? It's your boy, Rob, and we back in the shop today. So today we are going to um, <clears throat> go ahead and pull the trunk and the hood off of the Impala so that we can spray the underside of it. Um, you guys will see the color in this video. I'm really excited about it. Um, I sprayed a test panel. Uh, excuse me, I sprayed a test panel and uh, you know, <laughs> I think the color is gonna suit this car just right. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm excited to see it just like I was with the Elko. Um, this one will be a little bit different because it is a custom color. So we will see, you know, how it turns out. But we're gonna do the best that we can. Before we get started on the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you get a notification every single time we drop another video. Don't forget about the 2,500 subscriber giveaway for the Flowmaster 44s, which we have to do in order to get entered to win is just, you know, support the channel, man. That's all I'm asking for. Like, like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Um, and also this is the winner has to be a subscriber. So, um, that's that's what it is also the 5,000 subscriber giveaway for the dakota digital we're also doing that too so you know what i mean just um yeah i guess stay tuned for that but anyways man we are going to go ahead and get the trunk removed get the hood removed and then we are going to get to work so you know what i'm saying let's jump into it all right y'all uh went ahead and took the trunk off and so now we gotta pretty much scuff up in here um I'm trying to decide. Hmm. I might take these out. Still deciding that. But anyways, we have to scuff all this up. Get all that, you know, taken care of. Also still got to fix down there. Um, by the time you guys see the next video, it might be fixed. Well, it's going to have to be fixed. Uh, well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Anywho. I went ahead and primed the whole car. Um, I didn't film that, I just wanted to get it done. So this is the next set of primer. So there's two coats of 2K on here. Um, and that is in preparation for the wet sand. I did more body work, um, filled all the areas that I needed to fill in. And I have exposed a couple more areas. Uh, there's a little bit of dimpling still on the door. I think for the most part down below is pretty good. Uh, we're still going to guy coat. I exposed another part here. Um, it's really hard to see, but there's like a little crease right here. And I think that's pretty much it for this side of the car. And I also took the you know hood off. Got everything laid up over there. Um, I did really, really well on this uh, quarter panel. So we're just going to guy coat it again. 320 it and or not quarter panel um, fender. I'm going to guy coat it again. 320 and get that done uh it's sitting a little higher up here so i gotta knock that down a little bit and then bring it back out um and then you know fix that up so that it's nice and you know it's perfect I'm trying to get everything as perfect as possible my body work on this car i want to be a lot better than the elko the elko was a nightmare to work with man i was doing body work for like i feel like months um just trying to get it done this car didn't take long at all i got a couple of areas that i gotta bring out a little bit and then we're done with body work completely um other than the quarter panels back there but you know what i'm saying um so what we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead and sand down the hood which you can see i've already been working been using my orbital sander to like kind of get it all nice um we have to scotch bright and sand all up in here um i was gonna take the fender off but i i started to think about it and i'm like I really don't want to go through that much work and I really don't want to risk damaging the fender again. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'll just take this out, get as far down as possible and really just get as best coverage that I possibly can. I can mask it up pretty good, mask up the engine. I was going to do the firewall, but the firewall is pretty much all the way covered. Um, the color that I'm going with is similar to the DCM, so you'll never know the difference. Um, so I might leave that alone other than the trim piece that goes up or the 
the metal piece that goes up under this uh, rubber piece. And then we got to sand down over here, uh, get the battery out. I'll probably detach this and just move it over so I can get good coverage. Obviously these will be out the way. Um, but yeah, I don't want to risk, I really don't want to risk damaging my fenders um, just to like prime, like prime little, the same pieces that are going to be primed or that can be primed on the car. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to have to figure this out too before this gets painted um, because obviously this is not going to fly. Uh, so I may still have to take this fender off. I think actually, you know what, I could just take the inner fender off or slide it up or move it or whatever, take the wheel off, slide the inner fender off and I don't have to take this off. I think that's how I did it last time, but we'll see, man. We'll see how that goes, all of that goes um, when, when the time comes. But like I said, I've been working on this hood um, and then, oh, 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 uh, this here, this trunk, man, I really don't want to mess it up because this paint is laid so nice, man. I mean, but it has its blemishes. It has areas like that, you know, that need to be corrected. So when you pop the hood, you don't see all this scuffed up marks. Um, it is like really, really dusty. I guess you could buff all this out if needed be. But I mean, for the most part, man, this is gonna get scuffed up pretty soon. And then we are going to respray it. So um, I am gonna cover up my uh, tag because that's very, very valuable, very, very, uh, valuable piece of information to this car obviously that's how you figure out how um that's how you figure out whether the impala is a real impala or a caprice um and i want to preserve that so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna tape it i'm gonna paint this uh deck lid and then after i paint it i'm going to clear over that tag so that i can preserve um all the numbers because you know eventually that'll fade away the numbers and everything will fall off or wear away or whatever and to preserve that i'm gonna go ahead and clear it so we're gonna go ahead and continue to use this orbital sander to keep getting the uh you know the deck lid i got 180 on here so i've just been using that to just clean it up i'm gonna go back with a uh another pass and go ahead and hit all these crevices and creases and all that stuff by hand um i'm gonna take this front mechanism off of there I'm gonna have to bend that straight, but I'm gonna take this front uh, mechanism off of there so we can get good continuity everywhere. Um, the spring, I might just leave there. I'm not really too concerned about the spring. We'll just paint it the same color, I guess. Um, but anyways, man, um, I've been working. Uh, I'm gonna take this off too. I'm gonna take this off too, uh, cause those won't get sprayed. Um, and then we'll be good to go, man. I still gotta cut probably about an inch of material out of this hood so i'll do that smooth all this out you know get it nice and painted nice and cleaned up and then i have a rubber piece that goes around um around here just to clean the edges up and make it look a little bit nicer than what it does or what it looks like now so like i said you guys will see the color in this video um i'm gonna just go ahead and bust through this you know what i'm saying I'm not gonna go and show y'all a bunch of sanding because you know it's going to take a little bit of time i'm going to just show y'all the stages after i'm done after i prime it and then after i paint it hopefully we got some good you know hopefully it looks real nice so let me go ahead and get to that man i'm gonna finish sanding this we'll clean it up and then uh start getting ready to get some primer and paint on it all right y'all we got everything scuffed up 100 percent um i use the compressor to blow off the excess, like the dust and stuff like that. Um, then we got all everything masked up the way it needs to be masked up. Um, it's kind of, I might hit off a couple areas like right there, right there again, over there, um, just to be safe. And then after that, we'll go ahead and uh, clean it off. And then it's time to spray it. So. Let's get to it, man. I ain't gonna stall y'all out. I'm trying to get this thing done. All right, y'all. Hit it with that wax and grease remover. Um, probably gonna have to blow it off again because this the wind is blowing and it keeps blowing this plastic up. And so I'm getting like dust in here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'll probably back this car all the way out 
and close the garage at least halfway because this is this is mad annoying um so let me go ahead and back this car out a little bit more and then uh i'll spray this off again and then we'll get the spray and i'm about to hit it with the primer real quick all right y'all and just like that we primed up prime time baby so we're gonna hit it with a light wet sand um a real light wet sand because i only have one coat of primer on here i ran out of primer but since this hood is already painted um and this was already painted i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just leave it like that and if i burn through on any metal spots i'll hit it with the self etch um the self etch is the exact same color as this so i won't seal it um i gotta hit that spot off but um yeah but i i, I thinned it out really really good it's dry to the touch i thinned it out really good so we shouldn't have to wet sand too much um, but after that, man, we can lay down the base coat and then the candy. And then after that, clear coat it. This will be done. It will be a wrap. It can go back on the car after we paint the gym. So we moving right along, man. We moving right along. This paint job, I feel like is going a lot faster than the Elko did. The Elko took forever. Once I started painting it, it was cool. But, you know, like doing the body work was a nightmare. So we're going to paint this. Um, like I said, y'all will see the color pretty soon um in this video so stay tuned man continue to watch i definitely appreciate the love and the support so you know um i'm going to uh wrap it up tonight and i'll be back in a couple of seconds so let's get it all right y'all so we got the hood all west sanded down we got the trunk west sanded down um I still got to just cut out this piece about an inch uh, because I don't want uh, the hood scoop on the top side to like overhang or the metal start to overhang. I want it to be like one unison like looking piece. Um, but we got that lightly wet sanded. We're going to have to um, go ahead and hit it off with some of the self etch primer. The uh, reason why I'm using self etch is because I don't want to seal. Um, and the self etch is pretty much the same as um, as this primer. It's the same color and everything. Um, probably, I'm gonna have to knock that down a little bit more, but um, that's the only run that I have. But yeah, we gotta knock that out, get that all done. Um, I got the air box and all that kind of moved out the way. I got the battery out already. I got the computer moved over. I'm gonna pull this out, the tray out down there. I'm going to pull this tray out, and then I'm going to pull the coolant, um, the coolant reservoir tank. I'm going to just unbolt it and just slide it over because I don't want it to, like, you know, leak or nothing like that. I'm going to just slide it over a little bit, and then we'll start scuffing all that up. We'll prime it. We'll be good to go. Um, I'm not going to mess with nothing back here because it's pretty well covered up. You're never going to see. You're never going to be able to tell the difference. Um, excuse me. Now, if I was going with a completely different color like say for instance if i i was going with blue and you know changing this car to blue i would have to get that but since this is going to get covered up and since it's a similar color um i decided not to uh not to do the firewall so i'm gonna go ahead and cover all this up scuff it up real good and then um we'll go ahead and get back here um scuff back here up really really good um get all this done i'll probably take the tail lights out and then after that, we'll go ahead and prime it. I want to prime it really early um, so that I can try to get to color, um, try to get to coloring everything um, tomorrow. And then, yeah, I mean, this will be done. The jams will be done um, for the, the hood um, or for the front of the car and the back of the car. And we'll just need to get the jams in the center of the car where all the doors are and stuff like that. But the hood and the trunk will be able to go on next week. Um, so we'll slap those on and all of this will be done. We'll just have to do the door jams and then we're ready to spray the whole entire car, man. We'll wet sand and then we'll spray the whole entire car. It won't take a long time to wet sand because um, the uh, reducer made laying down the primer real slick. On that car, I didn't use any reducer anywhere and like the the primer came out really textured so i had to wet sand a lot um on this car the primer is 
like flat. Um, so we're just gonna wet sand to get any imperfections out and make sure that it's all solid and then we'll spray the car. So man, we get into it, man, we almost there. Like I said, you guys will see the color in this video. Um, we are gonna spray everything up and then we'll be good to go, man. So yeah, we getting there, man. We getting this work, we getting it done, we getting to it. Um, I gotta spray the grill, the uh, front trim, all the trim and all that. So yeah, man, we getting to it though. We gonna get this thing knocked out and we gonna get it done. All right, y'all, we got everything all masked up. By the way, my masking job is trash. I don't know how these painters get these this masking stuff like down packed, man. But you know, we got we got it how we got it, man. Um, we just gonna go ahead and spray it, man. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and prime up everything. Oh shoot, almost forgot I gotta cover these up. Um, I was gonna take them out, but I'm like, I mean, for what? Like, you know, it's gonna be covered up, so. I'm gonna just tape it off right here and we'll call it good, man. But anyways, like I said, my masking job is trash, but it is what it is. We're gonna get it taken care of. And I got my primer already ready to go. And yeah, so let's get to it. All right, y'all. We got everything primed up. Um, it's pretty much dry. So I guess we're gonna go ahead and go um, knock out the rest of everything else i got a little bit of runs like right here but i'm not too worried about it uh these jams are super hard to uh like paint man so whatever um got this little section here cut out um we'll go ahead and probably sand that down sand these edges down a little bit um i'll probably paint it first and then sand it like right here on these edges um, on the inside because everything is pretty much on the inside. I have a little strip that I could cover all that up with so I'm not too worried about it but I'm about to smack this with the degreaser and we'll get that all done. Smack this one with the degreaser and then we'll lay our base coat down. So I'm starting to get nervous at this point because um, yeah I mean this is this is candy man so uh, it's the cat is out of the bag I guess you know we laying down candy we'll see how it comes out and yeah we'll just get some good practice so let's do it
Slay Slay. You know what I'm saying? They look pretty darn good, man. Oh, I thought I was tiger striping this thing, but it doesn't look like it was tiger striped. Um, the base looks pretty, pretty good. I did run it over here, and I know when you lay candy, if you get runs, you gotta start all over, whatever. Luckily, this is just the trunk. Um, you'll never see that, whatever. I'm not too worried about it, too concerned about it, but we definitely can't do that on the car or we definitely are starting over. So um, I think that, you know, I did a solid job laying the base. Everything looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, man. So we just gonna keep on grinding, keep on working. Um, I'm about to mix up the candy, so you guys will definitely see the color in like a couple of seconds. So, yeah, man, stay tuned, man. We getting this thing done. All right, y'all. I got my two-gallon bucket. I got eye candy vexing violet. And I have, oh, that's violet. I have eye candy wine red. So I have two quarts of the wine red. I have a gallon and a quart of the vexing violet i wanted a little bit more purple um than the red but i think it's gonna turn out to be similar to the dcm so you know what i mean at least that's in my mind that's how i see it so we about to find out real soon what it's really gonna look like i'm about to throw it in this bucket we're gonna go ahead and mix up the candy and then we're gonna get the spraying y'all so yikes you know this is the this is the uh nervous part because you know what i'm saying you gotta spray it perfect um i was practicing with my strokes uh you know what i'm saying on the hood and stuff like that and on the trunk trying to stay eight inches apart or eight inches from um the hood and the trunk uh good even strokes all the way down instead of starting in the middle and whatever whatever you know what i mean i want to go that way boom boom boom, boom. so i'm practicing as i move uh along with each stage so that i can get this candy just right man it sucks that i did that but hey man whatever it is what it is it's still gonna be laid super nice so uh yeah man let me go ahead and get to laying this stuff and uh or mixing this candy up and then we'll spray it man see what it looks like go ahead and smack the clear on there we'll be done for the day all right y'all we got it all mixed up Let's go ahead and start laying it down, yo. Let's get it. Um, it's a moment everybody been waiting for, man. Let's see how we do, man. Trial and error, man. I'm trying to perfect the craft, but let's do it. Let's get it done.
Man, uh, we started out rough because the gun started spitting out all weird and stuff, man. Um, and it looks like, you know, we got a lot of orange peel up in there. I tried to reduce it as much as possible, but whatever. But yeah, man, it looks good. Um, I'm sure there's imperfections, man. Uh, it's not perfect. Right now, I'm not really seeing a whole lot of them, but right now, oh man, I can't believe how clean this looks. Um, I'm not gonna cut and buff it under the hood or nothing like that. I'm not gonna flow coat, nothing like that. Um, just because of the simple fact that I don't care that much, really. You know what I mean? Just boil it. That's what it boils down to. You know, I don't really wanna go through the house with a flow coat and I'm just trying to get this car together, man. Um, you're never gonna see it. You're never gonna see this orange peel up underneath, but man, wow. This came out crazy and we ain't even to the clear stage yet, man. Uh, I see some imperfections right there. Uh, tried to get up under there as much as I could. Obviously, I pointed out the runs too. But man, other than that, it looks pretty darn good, man. Uh, let me show y'all what it looks like in the sun because, you know, this doesn't do it justice. I mean, it's pretty dark right there. Uh, but, whoo, the sun shining on it just right. This is going to be covered up. I didn't even have to spray that, but I did it anyway, man. The hardest part to paint on the car are the gems. I've said this before um, when I did the Elko. The hardest part are the gems because there's so many angles that you got to get it at. And it's not just one smooth motion. You know what I mean? You got to get all up in the crevices and all that kind of stuff. Make sure you're not, you're not missing anything. And with candy, man, like you got to spray kind of like, you know, consistently or you're going to get blotchy spots. I ran over with the holes right here. You can kind of barely tell. But like I said, I wasn't tripping too much because it's going to get covered up. But man, wow, yo. Oh no, I got a little, I'll wait till it's dried up to pull that out. But yeah, man, we getting to it, man. This is, this is about to be a crazy color, y'all. But yeah, man, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clear it. Um, I'm gonna wait for obviously it to dry and whatever we gotta do. And then uh, after that, we'll clear it. We'll be good to go, man. Um, I also got it up in here. I should have covered this more, but I mean, I'm gonna sand it down so it's not too big of a deal. Um, but yeah, man, I got all up, down, up in there real good. It looks so nasty, yo. Like, I'm telling y'all, I decided to take everything out that I possibly could and move it so that I could get the best continuity possible. Like I said, it's similar to the DCM. Um, if I could show y'all, I'll show y'all real quick. Um, this is what that looks like. And if I can open the door, I'll show you what, there we go, the DCM looks like. You see, it's just a little bit lighter. It's a little bit lighter, you know what I mean? So if I like made it, you know, clear, the DCM made it super nice, it's a little bit lighter than that. But I was looking for like a magenta color and I think I achieved it. It looks a little more red than violet. I got more violet purple because red is more of a dominant color. Um, and it came out so, so nasty. We haven't even cleared it yet, but yeah, anyways, man, um, on the car, I'll probably reduce it a little bit more. Um, I'll definitely make sure I wet sand a lot, lot, lot more, um, just so that there's not too much like orange peel. I think this is orange peel from like the primer and not necessarily the gun. I mean, uh, the primer, not necessarily the candy um, or the base coat is more so probably from the primer. Um, but like I said, I'm not too worried about it. I'm not tripping too much, but yeah, man, I think I did a pretty solid job, y'all. What y'all think, man? Like I said, it's not perfect underneath because it, it's the hood, let's be honest, you know? But man, for my first time spraying candy, I think I did a pretty good job. Like I said, it's so orange pilly, man. We could sand all that down, sand all that out, and flow coat it, make it look nice and pretty, but I ain't too worried about it underneath the car. So, man, whoo, wow. All right, y'all, I'm about to uh, go ahead and smack the clear on there um, once this dries and then that'll be that. All right, y'all, got everything taken care of. Woo-wee! That thing looking nice and sexy. Woo! 
we just clean that up. Uh, I mean, you know, this covers that. Everything right here gets covered up. Um, back here, the reason why I didn't go too much further is because this is covering that up. There's a, a rubber piece that covers this up, so you won't even be able to see it. And then back up under there, it's kind of, um, it's covered up with like a heat shield or something like that. Um, the only thing that you're gonna see really is like right in this corner, pretty much. Um, you're not even gonna see that down here, which I noticed I missed that once I amassed everything, but you know, for the most part, we call full. You see this side? Whew. Man. Wow, you know, sheesh. I mean, I could, you know, hit it with a, with a cut and buff, you know, or a, you know, flow coat, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. Oh, I just noticed this, there's a run right here. Damn, oh well, you know, it is what it is. I'm not sanding it all the way down and redoing it. That's not gonna happen, so. But man, you can see the sun hitting off that thing. Man. Wow. This is crazy. Crazy, crazy, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're getting it together, man. We're getting it together. Yes, sir. I mean, most of this, all of this is going to be covered up. I like this. There's This rubber strip goes to the front. And then this rubber strip is gonna cover this whole lip. So you won't even see that, but you know, I had to get it. You're only gonna really see this side in the gym and stuff. Um, and then that part right there, but everything else you pretty much is gonna get covered up. This whole lip right here gonna get covered up. Um, but yeah, it is what it is, man. Um, did the best that I could. These were really hard to spray. You can see I didn't get it all the way up in under there, but you know, it is what it is. The most important pieces, you know, smacked off. Dang, man, I got some runs, but whatever. Not a big deal, man. As long as that does not happen on the outside of the car, I'm good, man. I ain't complaining. We're going to go ahead and sand this down, so I wasn't too worried about that. Um, but now we're going to go ahead and hit off the gems. It will be good, man. But yeah, dude. Hold on, let me go up over there real quick. Look how the sun is smacking off of that, man. That's that candy, baby. That's that candy. Woo! Man. Yeah. This side is not as, as shiny. Um, it's a little dull. I think the pressure was dropping or something, but I don't know, man. Anyways, I think I did a pretty solid job. Um, and like I said, it's underneath. It's not that big of a deal to me to be perfect underneath. The car has to be perfect, but underneath, eh, it is what it is, man. Let's get it. All right, grind scoopers, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, it was a lot of work to get to this point. Um, and I told you guys that you were gonna see the color in this video. And I kept to my word by showing you guys the color. Um, so yeah, man, I mean, other than that, I don't know what else to say. It's a nice mix. You know, I was taking a risk uh, by, you know, mixing the two colors together, but it turned out exactly how I envisioned it in my head. Um, I told y'all that it was similar to the DCM and it is similar to the DCM. Um, I don't think that once I spray the car, I don't think that somebody that doesn't really know the true DCM color is gonna be able to tell uh that it's not original dcm i mean it's going to be a lot more shiny you're going to be able to tell it's a little bit different um because it's, it's candy you know what i'm saying it's fresh um but yeah man i mean i think i did a really good job i think i did a solid job so we're going to continue to keep this trajectory i think i'm gonna uh, upgrade the compressor though um because i was running out of um i was running out of uh air uh air pressure as I was going, uh, spraying the hood and spraying the, uh, the trunk and stuff. And I know that's definitely gonna happen if I try to spray the whole car and I don't want to mess up the paint job. So I definitely think I'm gonna upgrade the air compressor. Now, if it wasn't candy, I wouldn't mind too much, but the Impala is a really, really big car and I need that consistent flow of air. So uh, I'm definitely gonna do that. And then, you know, yeah, we are gonna see what we are gonna do with it. Uh, Next, we'll smack off the jams. We'll get those taken care of. Um, 
And then after that, it's wet sand the whole car down. And then after that, it's time to lay the candy on it. So, you know, we probably got about, mm, I would say a couple more weeks as I have time to do this. But, you know, this car would definitely be painted before the end of the summer. And, you know, then we just got to work on mechanical stuff on both the Elko and the Impala. And we done, man. And, you know, these cars will be good to go. And I mean, that kind of sucks that it's the end of the summer, but hey, you know what I mean? I've been grinding, I've been working, I've been busting my ass, you know what I'm saying? Getting the Elko painted, getting the Elko together, and then now we're getting the Impala together. We're almost there, but man, that candy is so freaking nice, yo. So nice. Uh, I can't wait till it gets on the car, but I'm definitely gonna take my time. I'm definitely gonna spray at a certain temperature. I'm not gonna spray, um, I'm not gonna spray the car how I sprayed it today. Um, because the, the, uh, the clear coat is drying pretty fast. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'll probably spray, uh, the base coat and the candy one day. And then the next day I'll jump out in the morning and smack off the clear. You know what I mean? Do it something like that. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll play by ear. We'll just have to see. Cause it's 93 degrees in here. The temperatures will start to, you know, come down a little bit uh as we get further and further um into the next couple of weeks because you know we're, we're entering fall well we will be entering fall so i should be able to have optim optimal temperature to be able to smack off the car or whatever we're gonna spray the roof first and then we'll just be spraying the sides by themselves so but anyways man i hope y'all enjoyed the video man hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification if you enjoy the videos um i definitely appreciate it i definitely appreciate the love man go ahead and hit that subscribe button man because we are getting to work i know y'all been waiting for this impala to come out for a very 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 long time and we're finally getting to it i hope that i did a, a service for you guys showing you guys the color um and show you guys what i had to do to get it to this point but anyways, man, I'm not going to hold y'all. I know it's a long video, and I appreciate y'all sticking with me and seeing what I had in store. But anyways, man, always remember, work hard so you can live free.